the true superstars of VFM. Of course, I'm talking about Mikkel and Bengt, and I had this long introduction prepared, but then I talked to them backstage, and they said, basically, just tell them we're bringing them a crazy, wet story. Thank you for coming, everyone. Yeah, again. <laughs> 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 We're going to tell you f something kind of a fuck up story today. It's maybe only one, two, three percent e commerce, but what the hell? Um, it's something me and Bank did a long time ago. Of course, when, if you know me and Bank, there's a lot of stories, but maybe this one is the funniest. I don't know. I think so. Hopefully. It's my favorite one. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. Uh, but when you do a fuck up, there is always some really smart person who can tell you that it's okay, right? And if you don't fuck up, you never try, right? Um, this story all started with a crazy night out in Hong Kong. Uh, please don't ask me why in Hong Kong. As often when it comes to us, it was a crazy night out. Yeah. So. Um, Maybe you heard about, there was like a volcano. I, I think the name is Eja Fjöja Bökul Shufadritan, something like that. Uh, so we were in Hong Kong at that moment and <sighs> Bengt uh, got a call from his, the, the airline company saying, it was early April and they said, uh, we reschedule your flight. You will be traveling home the 2nd of May. So we stayed in Hong Kong for one month, and guess what we did? <laughs> we had some time, you know, and uh, we went out partying, and uh, uh, when I go all out or all in or whatever you say, I use my Sex Pistols uh, hot pants. Uh, so this was a really fun night, uh, and we got uh, very creative, sort of. Yep. Yeah, because uh, somewhere between this picture and this picture, I think it was, we got a crazy good idea. You know, the best ideas you get when you're pissed, right? Uh, we uh, went into the Swedish trademark uh, uh, called uh, a database called PRV, and we, we uh, uh, stole this, uh, this uh, ship on a website called the Pirate Bay. I don't know if you heard about it, but it's, uh, <laughs> it was one of the biggest, it actually the biggest site uh, where you could download illegal stuff like music and, and uh, movies. Uh, yeah, it was so easy. You just right click on the logo and save as, and then you can just <laughs> upload it on the peer way. So it was, even so if you were drunk. So we could do it, it even if you were drunk, right? Yeah, it was yeah. not so much job. <laughs> Great with online services, you can do everything online, you know? <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, you know, time passed by as usual when you do something crazy, when you're like in that mood that we were, you forget about it the day after, right? So the, day, the days passed by and... Uh, back to e-commerce. Yeah, back to e-commerce. What do you always say, Bengt? Uh, E-commerce. E Never sleeps. Yeah, never sleeps. That's right. E-commerce never sleeps. A lot of mobile so, devices. Yeah, put on the, the suit and uh, yeah. <laughs> you can take that if you want. I can, yeah. But meantime, at the Pirate Bay, 
they had a lot of fun, right? They, uh, they had like a cozy moment back in their castle, <laughs> AKA boy room. <laughs> and, uh, but, but the thing is, if you look carefully at this picture, you it's... can see that they were way ahead of their time, right? They had like, uh, here you can see there's foil on the, on the wall. Security. I, yeah, that's security, you know, because they need security on that website. And up, 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 uh, you can see the, 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 the boxes, the, the, what do you call banana. them? Banana. Banana boxes. I, I, I actually think that's a very early cloud storage solution. And uh, here. Yeah. The persona. Yeah. And up here, you see there's a lot of text, right? I think actually that is the open source code. So you can just rip it off the wall and take it home, if you like. <laughs> and yeah, you see all the USB and the hanging from the roof and everything. It's cool, right? Um, but again, time passed. So it took actually five months, I think it was. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Totally forgot about it. Yeah, we totally forgot about it, uh, of course. And we got, I, I, I came up for a meeting uh, and I checked my phone. I was, holy shit. I have 100 missed phone calls. 100. I never have like 100, but yeah. <laughs> so, so I listened to the voicemail, and it was uh, <clears throat> it was this dude's. <laughs> it was uh, all the biggest shit, right? And I, the thing is, we didn't even know about it. No. We'd have, we had not we of course when they told us that uh, uh, you have registered the uh, the trademark blah 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 of course we remember part of it but yeah <laughs> <laughs> by the time this happened the site was number 86 most trafficked in the whole world and you know there are billions of websites so it was a quite big thing yep. it had more traffic like than BMW and uh, you know famous brands like IKEA so uh, yeah this was big stuff. Uh, I remember uh, someone told me, you need to go up now, 6 o'clock in the morning. You are on the front page of Metro in the whole Europe. So I think uh, you will get some the calls paper magazine. Today. Yeah. yeah, 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 the Wire magazine. They said, well, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> Tell me about you. You Google your name before. Yeah, I Google after. my name the day before. It was like, I don't know, maybe 20 hits. And the day after, 86,000. <laughs> <laughs> Famous! Yeah. <laughs> That's what you always wanted, right? It can happen quickly. <laughs> yeah, and um, you got a call. Actually, I got a call from from uh, Sveriges Radio. Yeah. And I said, I called Bengt and said, Bengt, please, please, can you just handle this? I can't take it. You always have something cool to say, please. And I you said, were yeah, like, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because Bengt, if you, everyone knows uh, Bengt, but Bengt has a disease. It called. I can never say no. So you always say yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me anything. You know. So tell me about. They call you. Where yeah, were they you? call me. Can we have an exclusive interview? We're going online now immediately. And I was on a bus on the way to Berlin uh, <laughs> with uh, my wife and a friend. And yeah. I said, No, I don't know. It's a lot of people in the bus. And they said, Are you going abroad? And I said, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and they, Are you leaving the country? And I said, Yeah, sort of. But you know, I will come back and stuff like that. But I felt that we'll maybe have a bad angle on this uh, interview. So I said, maybe we can take it on Monday instead. And they said, Yeah, as long as you can promise me it's exclusive. So I felt, sounds big this. Uh, I mean, it was uh, the Swedish biggest radio station who said it. So yeah. I got a little curious. But uh, the interview happened. Do, do, do you, uh, you want to hear the interview? Yeah. yeah? It's and, quite genius. Uh, of actually. course, it's in Swedish because we are in Sweden. But uh, those who aren't Swedish, bring out your mobile phones or something. Then I don't know. Translate. Det är var egentligen att kunna sälja USB hårddiskar genom detta varumärke då. Men vad har ni med The Pirate Bay att göra? Uh, ingenting egentligen. <laughs> Hur ser du på att liksom, ni har tagit någon annans varumärke och använder det för era syften? Vi kan inte säga det var någon annan. Vi var inte registrerat uh, vad vi kunde se, så uh, då testade vi det. The Pirate Base logotyp tillhör något som heter Copy Me och den är fri att använda hur som helst. Till och med kommersiellt eftersom den som designat bilden har avsagt sig upphovsrätten. Ja. Dessutom så har nu Patent- och registreringsverket godkänt den här loggan som ett varumärke i Sverige. Kristoffer Byller jobbar på varumärkesavdelningen på PRB. I det här fallet så eh, har inte vi hittat någon, någon tidigare rättighet eh, som innehålls av, av Pirate Bay. I alla fall inte en registrerad sådan. 
Och därför så har vi kunnat registrera det. I ett mejl till Patent- och registreringsverket som vi har läst skriver en av grundarna till The Pirate Bay. Hur PRV kan godkänna registrering av ett så uppenbart plagiat är för mig helt obegripligt. Hur går vi tillväga för att få den här registreringen ogiltig förklarad? Vissa kanske skulle säga att ni har liksom snott någon annans logo och använder den själva. Vad tänker du om det? Ja, det är roligt om de tyckte det. Men eh, får jag ta en dialog med de andra nästa vecka kanske om det, om det skulle behöva. Klassisk kommentar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> After that I actually got some media training. Yeah, we yeah. got media training. That yeah. was cool. <laughs> yeah, it was She... one of the biggest PR uh, consultants yeah. in Sweden. Uh, helped She... out prime minister and everything. Yeah, she was laughing all the time. Yeah. And then she said, just be funny as you are. So yeah. everything will sort out. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> But one thing everyone asked us was, what the hell are you going to do with this? So we, uh, as usual, we have this great plan. So we panicked. <laughs> <laughs> Get into the Greek. <laughs> But anyway, uh, we, uh, after a few beers or whatever, we, we calmed down and we... Uh, came up with a great idea to, uh, let's do headphones. Yeah. That's cool. I think it was like uh, jul, årets julklapp, uh, Christmas, Christmas gift of the year, of the year yeah. in Sweden that year. Uh, so yeah, what do you think? Are you cool? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> we actually, uh, in the beginning, because we, we couldn't buy a lot of them, we, so we just bought other headphones and ripped off the logo and put on our own logo. Manually. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah and uh, bought some cool packing and stuff like that. Uh, so anyway, we went to a lot of, uh, we did a lot of marketing. We went to fairs all over the world. This is one of them, like ex exhibition, right? Yeah, we got some uh, great attention. Uh, we got rated like uh, top 10, top five uh, class uh, in different uh, ratings, uh, like big media reviews and stuff like that. We even got television. Uh... Yeah. We, we'll come to that. But the thing is, uh, <laughs> Feber, they actually thought that uh, it was the Pirate Bay who... Uh, who uh, uh, ...dryger ut kassan, så att säga. <laughs> Earn extra money. Uh, but uh, we, we made like a business plan, you know, really fat one. It was three rows. Uh, the first one was marketing. Let's do marketing. The second one was let's get some really big resellers so they would just push the brand, right? Yeah. And the second, uh, the third part was, uh, of course, we need e-commerce. Let's talk e-commerce. Uh, we are in the e-commerce business and uh, we need to sell this shit online, right? Yeah. So we, uh, I think we did live shopping back then. Yeah. Uh, and we, we even did. invented something new yeah. that never were done before. We call it banner shopping. So you could go to this site, Tanka Fetast, right? Yeah. And you just put in your social security number in a banner and we shipped uh, the headphones. And they did it. We, yeah, in, yeah. In, in one hour we sold, like, it's not much, but uh, 50,000 Swedish crowns or something like that. Yeah. Live shopping. <laughs> <laughs> This was a uh, <laughs> long time ago. Uh, when it comes to uh, the big resellers, uh, this is actually, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe it's some French dudes here know about FNAC. They are like big, like really big. Their revenue is 4 billion euros. So they told us, guys, we love your stuff. Let's buy 5,000 pairs. And we were like, oh shit, Wow! how are we going to fix that? Because we were buying these headphones and we put on the, some stamps with the logo. So we were like, hmm, let's go back to Hong Kong and buy some headphones. <laughs> so we were quite bold. So we uh, went to Hong Kong, we bought 10,000 pairs. It's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, so, uh, but when you, in the moment, right? <laughs> <laughs> we and even we got some funding because it's a already. lot of money to, yeah. to, to fund that. This is actually from a, a flagship store in Monaco, from Fla uh, FNAC's flagship store. It's the biggest so, window in the yeah. store in Monaco. So they love the shit. <laughs> um, we were visible in the 
What's the name? Uh, Melody Festival is like the Eurovision you, from Sweden. Yeah, the Eurovision Song Concept yeah. in, in contest in Sweden. So we Sweden. launched the brand there uh, with. Uh, yeah. Some Luckily, help. they didn't understand that it was the Pirate Bay because Pirate Bay in Swedish television can maybe not the best. You can't thing. even have the brand on your shirt there. Like. No, 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 no. Um, this is two <laughs> of the hottest, the biggest uh, influencers at that time. They travel all around the world with our headphones. We, we, uh, we just send them the headphones, you know, like just posted it. To and, all and the biggest bloggers yeah, in Sweden. Yeah, and, and, and one day they just posted it. We didn't even talk to them. No. Uh, so, for free, right? Yeah. That's not what you pay this uh, type of persons nowadays. We got millions of views for free. We, we, we were best in test in, in, uh, in Aftonbladet. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if they, uh, where they found the headphones, even. Four jättingar, fan vad fett alltså. Four wasps, it's great. <laughs> Amazing uh, phones. <laughs> uh, guess what these uh, people have in common? They have the yeah, they yeah. have the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know why they have the headphones, you have to ask us later because this is totally a story. story. We can talk about that, but not now. So it was a success, right? Yeah. Mm. Maybe. On, the, on the paper. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, we were doing like, at this time, just so you know, we were running uh, the old name, uh, not mention it, Star Republic, I mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> But we also run, uh, I don't remember, maybe four, five, six other companies as well as we did this. So uh, it was uh, a lot of to do at the same time and uh, Star Public grew during this time and uh, the headphones uh, companies really started to become a headache uh, instead of phones. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the problems uh, escalated. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, we talked about, we heard about law of advice here earlier. Uh, <laughs> Other headphones companies contacted us and said, you can't sell them. Uh, they said that our uh, logo for the company, uh, we had that logo for the company, is too uh, similar to our one. But you know how lower it is, they just talk, 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 But we, so we fixed that. We just explained, no, it's uh, a, a gas mask is more similar to your uh, logo than uh, our one. Or the Swedish Hallon Lackris biten is also more similar. So yeah. we, we won that, of course, <laughs> without any lawyers, actually. <laughs> But f <laughs> first, we actually thought about just, yeah, let's just uh, change the, the, the logo, right? That's mu that must be the easiest part, but yeah. it was too late because I already... <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> then you really don't want to change okay. it. Otherwise, we can yeah. uh, take the fight. Why do, you other, why do you have that craziest air? Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you, you understand, right? Um, <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. One more thing. <laughs> the, the, we were a little bit over ambitious, so we thought, okay, let's make the coolest headphones. Like, mes, me, let's make the coolest packing there is, right? So we we uh, bought like 25 pieces uh, and put them in this box. <laughs> the only problem was that uh, uh, there was no supplier who wanted to pack them together, so we had to do it by ourselves. Uh, and 10,000 headphones times 25 pieces yeah. is a quarter million. And I mean, we, we are If not you don't believe us, maybe you can believe us now, right? Shake this out. You have one! I yeah, love yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at these coins. Whoa! <laughs> love if them. you pay a lot, you can buy them, but they are like thousand dollars or something like that. The prices <laughs> go up these days. Um, so yeah. when me and Bengt went to the warehouse and um, because it was the D-Day, you know, when the headphones <laughs> should arrive to the, to the warehouse and we got two of this. It's a lot. So, yeah, and it was you, me and Bengt. We was, you can't put it in the Volvo. What the fuck are we going to do with that? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I mean, so much. we do a lot, but we're maybe not logistic <laughs> geniuses. Yeah, but luckily, 
We had this really oh. cool warehouse with robots running around. Everything. Like a self-playing piano. It's yeah, yeah, so yeah. Nice. Self-play piano. You're yeah. right. Yeah, you don't no, have I... to think about that. It's but the reality, um, maybe it wasn't that. Uh... <laughs> now it looks a little bit more. There you have the, <laughs> this one. You see it? It cool, huh? Yeah. It took. Uh, one, between one hour and three hours to package only one pair of headphones. <laughs> and then you get them in return from Holland. Yeah. Uh, then you're disappointed. Yeah, because of course we want <laughs> to sell them all over the world. Uh, yeah. 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 Big stuff. Uh, one day, Fnack called us. Actually, I, I don't know if it was the same day that we got all the headphones in the warehouse or the day after. And they said to, said to us, guys, I got a phone call from this beep uh, fruit company. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and they, uh, they told us that if, you bring, if we bring in this brand, your brand, into our stores, we will kill the distribution from our brand. And... That brand was one of the biggest brands they sold, so guess what they told us? The deal is off, yeah. Yeah, the deal is off. So, so no we had like 10,000 headphones. It's a lot. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, we called the second biggest one, Media Markt, and they said, oh my god, we love you guys. We love the headphones. They are amazing. And then a manager said, what's that brand you have there? And we said, yeah, yeah, you know, it's very famous. Yeah. Easy to sell. Yeah. Sorry, guys, the door is there. Yeah, it's too political. We can't have <laughs> yeah. it. So it will sell, but we don't dare to have it. Exactly. So we stood there with not 10,000 head uh, headphones, but a lot of them left. Of course, we sell sold some of them, right? Uh, and what are you going to do <laughs> when you have all those headphones? And it costs a lot of money, right? So we, um, we found this guy in, in, um, in Borås, I think it yeah. was. So we sold them like with a lot of loss uh, yeah. just to get rid of it, right? Uh, and and uh, <laughs> that's a little bit sad story, but to be honest, it was super expensive, but damn, what much fun we had. Just oh like VFM today, it's very expensive, yeah. but what fun we will have tonight. <laughs>